The entire world has heard about the great Megxit from royal duties as Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle and baby Archie head off to Canada. Some are up in arms about the decision, while others fondly remember Princess Diana and support his decision to keep his family safe and to avoid the same things happening to them as what happened to her. Let's go back in time and remember some other stories that were quite shocking for certain royal families. Shocking Stories That Rocked The Royal Family 12. A Common Marriage You can't choose who you love, and King Edward VIII knows the reality of this more than most. In 1936, soon after taking the throne upon his father's death, Edward VIII stepped down from his position as king. His reason? Love! In 1936, the Church of England forbid the marriage of anyone who was previously divorced. So when Edward fell for Wallace Simpson, an American socialite working through her second divorce, he had little option but to forego the crown. Before his abdication, Edward VIII gave a heartfelt explanation. I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king without the help and support of the woman I love. The now ex-king, Edward VIII, married the commoner Simpson in 1937. The couple stayed married until Edward died in 1972. 11. Long-Distance Relationships In 1820, when King George IV took over the throne, he had some domestic affairs to resolve first. He had been living apart from his wife, Caroline of Brunswick, for 20 years already. The two were not on good terms, and George was not about to let Caroline assume the throne if he passed on. George decided to take Caroline to court, expecting the public to side with him. It seems his quite public infidelity had not won him favors with his people, and the public all sided with the aggrieved Caroline. Lending to the scandal, it was discovered that Caroline wasn't George's first wife, and 10 years before they wed, he had married a commoner called Maria Fitzherbert. He passionately was buried with a small portrait of her, as Maria was his true love. 10. Three's a crowd. From the beginning of the marriage of Diana, Princess of Wales, and Prince Charles, there was trouble. The marriage ended in 1992 under a cloud of controversy, but the public scandal didn't end there. Both Charles and Diana used public opportunities to make pointed remarks that shed the light on the infidelities in the marriage. Diana caused global ripples when she publicly commented, there were three in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. The third person she referred to was Camilla Parker Bowles, whom Charles later married. 9. PDA – Public Displays of Affection Six years after tying the knot, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, the Duke and Duchess of York, were divorced. The separation wasn't amicable and things got nasty through the separation in 1992. This only escalated when less than five months after the divorce, Fergie was caught in a compromising situation with her financial advisor. The man in question was Texan millionaire John Bryant, who was pictured kissing and sucking the Duchess's toes while on holiday in Saint-Tropez. To date, these were the most compromising photographs of a royal and one of the largest scandals the royal family had ever faced. Further photos revealed the couple embracing, kissing and frolicking in the pool. Fergie was back in the media in 2010, when she accepted a bribe to give News of the World journalist access to her ex-husband. The dowry was £500,000 for a video recording of their meeting. Fergie has since apologized and admitted her mistake as a serious lapse in judgment. 8. Royal Blush Prince Andrew has enjoyed a privileged life. Known as the Queen's favorite son, Andrew has been handed easy jobs that offer him important titles with not much of the responsibility. During these royal appointments, he was able to drum up some real A-lister friends. One such friend is Jeffrey Epstein, who in 2008 was accused of a number of crimes, all of which are highlighted in the media at the moment. Prince Andrew didn't take the opportunity to ditch his friends and stood by Epstein, declining the opportunity to speak up about his friend's heinous crimes. But when Epstein had to stand up against the scrutiny of the Time's Up and Me Too movements, he couldn't avoid the accusations anymore and was arrested and later took his own life in a prison cell. This was when the darling Prince Andrew was also pulled into the scrum and had to face up to his own claims of illegal activities. Buckingham Palace had his back and released an official statement denying the claims. And then Andrew followed suit, also avoiding the firing range, with a similar statement denying all. 7. Leg Up 
Sarah Forsyth was Prince Harry's art teacher at Eton College. So when the head of art asked her to ghostwrite the text to accompany the prince's expressive art project, she followed instructions. When she was fired by the school, a court case ensued to judge the merits of the termination. During the hearing, it was acknowledged that Prince Harry was a weak student and that he did receive help on his A-level expressive project. She was awarded £45,000 in damages for her troubles. It seems that in royal circles, crime does pay. 6. Sister Wives Princess Margaret had a rocky time at romance. First, she fell in love with Captain Peter Townsend a Royal Air Force officer who happened to be married at the time. He was an attendant to the royal family. In 1953, he made the bold decision to divorce his wife and propose to Margaret. The Church of England rules still forbid marriage with someone who was divorced. So Margaret, like Uncle Edward VIII, would have to relinquish her title to marry. Instead, in 1955, she called off the engagement. Margaret then met Anthony Armstrong Jones, a photographer, and they were married. The wedding was the first royal wedding to be televised. Their marriage soon appeared unhappy, with public spats leading to growing public ridicule. To make matters worse, rumors circulated about Margaret finding solace in the arms of a man 17 years her junior. By 1978, she was divorced, only the second royal at the time to divorce since Henry VIII in the 1500s. 5. Dividing the House The love between King Henry VII and Anne Boleyn was so strong that it split the Roman Catholic Church. When Henry met Anne, he was already married to Catherine. Divorce was strictly prohibited by the Catholic Church, so Henry was forced to break away and create a new church that would accept his life choices. He married his true love, Anne, in 1533 under the newly formed Church of England. But the honeymoon didn't last long, as in 1536 he was annoyed by his new wife's inability to produce an heir and ordered her execution on trumped-up charges of infidelity and incest. 4. Behind closed doors Queen Victoria had a few skeletons in her closet, and it turns out she might have had a few gentlemen callers in her closet too. Following her husband's death, the Queen took a shining to a Scottish servant named John Brown. As with most royal scandals, mum's the word, but some believe it was romantic and that they were even secretly married. Later in life, Victoria paid special attention to an Indian attendant named Abdul Karim. He was promoted to her closest servant and spent much time in close counsel with the Queen. In 1901, one, when she passed away, her family spared no time packing up Abdul and shipping him back to India with a deportation stamp. He was virtually erased from history, and the nature of their relationship was never truly known. 3. The Postman the royals have a long history of extracurricular interests outside of their marriages. Perhaps the high incidence of infidelity stems from their marriages being more about bloodline and preserving wealth than about true compatibility. Probably the most public scandal in the current royal house is Prince Charles's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. This was thought to have been ongoing since 1986, long before Princess Di and Charles split. However, Princess Di wasn't necessarily all alone. She was rumored to be enjoying extra lessons with her riding instructor, James Hewitt. The evidence of the affair might remain today, as the similarities between Prince Harry and James Hewitt's ginger hair are often pointed out. Harry's lack of resemblance to his brother, or Philip, or Charles, also doesn't help the case. Hewitt has always denied the rumors, but that doesn't hide the ginger elephant in the room. 2. In the Doghouse Princess Anne's pups got her into hot water in 2002 when the Queen's daughter was walking her unruly English Bull Terrier. The royal pooch attacked two children aged 7 and 12 years. They were both taken to hospital, but luckily no stitches were needed. The courts ordered the princess to pay a £500 fine and provide £500 compensation to the families of the two children. She is now the first senior member of the royal family convicted of a criminal offence. Perhaps an incident earlier on in Princess Anne's life can explain her later turning to crime. In 1974, after attending a film screening, Princess Anne's limo was forced to stop by a 26-year-old mentally ill man driving a Ford Escort. He approached the limo with two guns and shot at her bodyguard, wounding him in the shoulder. It was a busy area, so before the man could grab Anne, he took flight. Police found paraphernalia in his car that proved that he planned on abducting the princess. Among the handcuffs and tranquilizers in his car was a ransom letter demanding £2 million from the Queen for Anne's safe return. What are your thoughts about Harry, Meghan and Archie heading to Canada? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. 1. Bad Blood 
Mary, Queen of Scots, was the Queen of Scotland from 1542 to 1567, but her reign was fraught with scandal. Mary's first husband died of an ear infection. Soon after this, she married Lord Darnley. But Lord Darnley paid the Queen no respect and undermined her as soon as they tied the knot. He was even thought to have orchestrated a plot to kill her dear friend, David Rizzio, right in front of her while she was heavily pregnant. It wasn't long after that that Darnley met his end. The details how are sketchy. Some say strangulation, others say explosion. Either way, Mary did her public reputation no favors by speedily marrying the prime suspect of her late husband's murderer, the Earl of Bothwell. The evidence mounted against her and she was forced to abdicate the throne and head to England. But her crime spree didn't end there. She was finally executed after she was caught plotting to kill Queen Elizabeth.